Have you ever wanted to make a device to look at magnetic fields directly and see the beauty and the symmetry of these interesting magnetic uh, forces? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. To do this, we're going to use a device known as a ferrocell. Now that is not a new device, it's been around for a while and it's not really well understood how it exactly works. And I'm not going to go into the theory, I'm just going to show you how, the, how to make one. And what you'll need to start with is some plastic discs such as this. These are um, approximately 10 centimeters in diameter, but you can use bigger or smaller discs depending on what you have available. These ones are polycarbonate, but you can use pretty much any plastic as long as it doesn't dissolve in WD-40 because that's one of the components we're gonna use. Now, before you, you start doing this, let me show you what you're gonna to have to do. You'll need some key ingredients. The first thing you'll need is ferrofluid. And this was real popular 10, 15 or more years ago. And you may have some left from the time when people were really messing around with it. If you don't, you can easily buy it on eBay or on Amazon. Then um, you'll need some WD-40. And I just squirted some out of the can directly into this beaker here. Then you'll need another, uh, two clean pipettes and I just broke the ends off them because the ends went out real here, real far and they were very thin, which wouldn't allow a lot of easy transfer. So you want them to break off the ends, you get them like that. Then you'll need some styrofoam. And what I tend to use for that is I use wall insulation. What I did is I used a um, utility knife to cut a circle out of the middle that's gonna be just slightly bigger than the diameter of this, um, this disc. And then once you've cut your hole, you take the piece that you cut and then you cut that. So this is the hole that you get and you cut that down the middle. Using the same knife, just extend it a little bit and cut that into two separate discs because you're going to need one of these discs. And I'll show you why. What you're going to do with this disc is you're going to put it back in here like this and you're going to push it all the way down so that it's flush with the other side. And then you're going to place a layer of tape over this so that it's completely flush. And even before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to tape around the edges of this to smoothen it up. Because see how rough that is? You're gonna to wanna to smoothen that up with adhesive aluminum tape. You can get that from any hardware store, and I use 3M adhesive aluminum tape. And you just basically wrap it around the edges and um, create a smooth surface because you're gonna need that smooth surface to put on your lights, your LED lights. And you can get these LED strip lights, they come like this, and they have an adhesive backing on them. And what you do is you take the backing off, and then once you know, you've got your aluminum tape on here, and you basically wrap it around the edge here, all the way around to give you a lighted edge. So we're gonna take two parts of this and squirt them in this smaller beaker. You don't need a lot of this stuff. And then we're gonna take one syringe of ferrofluid and put it in the same beaker. There you go. And then you want to mix it up good. Now remember this stuff is messy, so don't get it on your clothes because it will stain them and you'll never get it off. So you can mix it like that or you can just swirl it around. 
like this until it's well mixed. There you go. So now we're gonna peel the plastic protective layer off of these discs. That reveals the shiny plastic. Now before you get any dirt or dust on it, drip on a couple of drops of this stuff. You don't need a lot. Put it right in the center like this. That's probably all you need right there. So I've got way more than I actually need. Then you just lay the other disc on top of it. I'm gonna do it like this and just lay it right on top. You wanna make sure you get out all the bubbles. Any bubbles in there, you can squeeze those out. Get yourself some tissue paper to wipe off the edges. I'm gonna pick this up and gently squeeze it to get any air bubbles out. You can just fill up all the spaces and that way you've got a good layer of it and then you can move the discs back over each other like this. Now I do have some areas there that look a little thinned down so I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side where it looks a little thinned out. I'm just gonna do it here and here too, there you go. Here I'm making a blackened cardboard disc to provide contrast for better visualization. And you'll see why once I put it into the setup. Now we're gonna stick on the LED lights on the inside of the well that we've created in the styrofoam. This is easier said than done but the aluminum tape definitely makes it easier to stick it on. I've made a small divot in the styrofoam for the wires. Now I'm adding a couple of extra discs just to get the spacing right so the lights shine through the uh, ferrofluid mixture. Here's the backing that I made earlier. Looking good so far. Now I'm gonna put in the uh, ferrofluid in between the two plastic discs and it should fit in such a way that the lights can shine transversely through it. Now most of the light is being drowned out by the fact that you've got those bright lights on the edges. So we need to cover those up. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna do that with aluminum tape. You've probably realized by now that this adhesive aluminum tape um, which I get from the hardware store, comes in extremely useful to make this project. Because not only does it stabilize everything, but it also provides a light block, as you can see here. Here I have two of them right next to each other. And let's test them out. Now here's a unipolar magnet. And the magnetic field is perpendicular to the disc. Now here's another big magnet. Let's see what this does. Oh wow, look at that. It's got enormous field lines. Here's your magnetic field and it is parallel to these plates. See how you can follow the field lines? But if you turn it perpendicular, so that the magnetic field cuts through the plate, you don't see any of the field lines. You only see it when it's parallel. Perpendicular, the magnetic field disappears and you can't see it. 
Here are some smaller cube magnets. You can see the fields of field lines from these. And you can tell where the poles are. The poles are here and here. You can see the field lines going out like this. It's the same thing. There's the poles here and here. Fascinating. Hey, thanks for watching folks and please check back later for more videos. And please check the community section for future announcements on new projects.